49% of our population is female and yet women make up only 11% of our legislators. That's less than Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan. Obviously, this needs to change and it can with the Women's Representation Bill, which would reserve 33% of elected seats for women. But this bill has been pending in Parliament for over 20 years and every time it's introduced, politicians have found ways to block it from becoming a law. For example, politicians have argued that the bill would only empower women from the elite class. We call bullshit. Party is no better than to field candidates that won't help them win. And a woman of privilege is simply not relatable in lots of parts of India. In fact, this bill is an opportunity for parties to field women from diverse classes. Then they said that women from political families would be favoured and eventually elected, so the bill would be pointless. Fair point, but bullshit. Nepotism in politics exists with or without the bill. In fact, of all the dynastic parliamentarians at the moment, a majority are male. So how about some anti-partiality policies instead? Yeah, we didn't think so. Since we're on the subject of sexism, the bill addresses that too. Instead of pitting a regular male candidate against a regular female candidate, and we all know who'd win in that election, entire constituencies would have to field only female candidates. If it's a constituency's turn to have a female rep, male politicians in that seat wouldn't be able to seek a re-election. Okay, this isn't exactly motivation for him to do great work, but is that reason enough to not pass the bill? Bullshit. The bill lapses after 15 years, which means every constituency in India has to go through the cycle only once, which is a small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. And for those saying that this would perpetuate the unequal status of women since we wouldn't be perceived as competing on merit, <coughs> to that we say, we appreciate your concern, but we'll take our representation in Parliament. Thanks. A gender divide doesn't exist only in legislature. It exists in finance too. Watch our video about it here.